Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use React Native's Pressable to make um, UI elements that you can click on. So first I'm going to import Pressable. Then I'm going to add that Pressable component to my um, app component. So you can put whatever you want inside a Pressable as children and that will be clickable. So you can make like image buttons and stuff like that. But today I'm just going to be showing you text just purely because it's nice and easy to demo how you can work with the Pressable component. You can pass a few different functions to Pressable um, that it will sort of call on when different events happen. So the first of these I'm going to show you and I'm just going to log them out to console so that you can sort of see how they work is on press. This is me creating a function that will log whatever press type I want. So on press, I'm going to call my log press um, function and pass on press. So basically that's when you press on um, the pressable component, it will um, trigger that function. Then there's also the on press in. So if you pass a function to that, it will um, be called when you press into the pressable. And similarly to on press in, there's also on press out. So when you sort of lift your finger up, then the on press out um, event will be triggered. Finally, there is another one and that is on long press. So if you hold down your finger for more than half a second, then it will trigger on long press. And it will, um, it will allow you to do different actions if the user is long pressing. So you might show, so short as, show a menu of sorts or something like that. So you can also set a different style when the... Um, pressable is pressed and so to do that when you are, you there's a style property and you can pass it a function with um with whether it's pressed or not and then depending on whether it's pressed or not you can do a different style so here i'm going to change this to be um an opacity, so it will be similar to what a, um, a touchable opacity is. And if it's pressed, then I want to set the opacity to 0 0.5. And if it's not pressed, it'll be 1. So basically, they'll do a similar thing to touchable opacity, um, but it's just got a little bit more flexibility. So it's recommended by React native to use this pressable over touchable opacity and touchable highlights. You can also use a similar function um, to display different different um, components inside the pressable. But I won't show you that today. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments. So here I am, I'm just going to show you um, a demo of this working. So once it loads, you can see that you'll be able to see that there will be a button. So there's a button that says press me. When I press on it, it says on press in, on press. If I hold it down, then it says on long press. So you can sort of see that um, as logging depending on how I interact with that button. Um, the pressable. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today and if you have, please like and subscribe for more content.